Oh, look, I'm struggling with them right up there. You were saying what about the activity this last day? Well, it's now the 4th of October 2015, and we are up the uh, uh, Ch Chilliwack River and the salmon. You gotta keep facing this way. Or, and uh, up the Chilliwack River, and the salmon are starting to spawn and run, and they're filling the streams. They're here to lay their eggs and then eventually die. Uh, there's no reason to believe. I believe the Sasquatch this time of year is probably more active in and around the rivers and the lakes because it's it's a feast for them. Just like the bears are more active at this time of year, no reason to assume the Sasquatch isn't either. Do you think that they might be putting on weight just like a, a bear would? No, bears bears spend all their time eating because they gotta they gotta put on layers of fat for hibernation. I don't think the Sasquatch hibernates. They don't seem to put on the, the extreme layers of fat in order to do so. But I, you don't pass up a free, uh, easy uh, seafood dinner when you can get one. And I don't think the Sasquatch would be any different. If you're going to see a Sasquatch around here this time of year, the time, this is the time to look along the creeks and the rivers when the salmon are running. You may find evidence of them. Hopefully today we will. There certainly is a, a large number of fish going up. Coho, I think, at this time. The pinks are done. It looks like one, one old fellow right there is in the process of dying because he's probably already bred. <laughs> Should have brought my wellies. I'd stand in the middle of the creek. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a mixture of both. The pinks are still running. Pinks, this is their big year. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. So you... Yeah. Like, but these are cold. Not all of them. Oh. But they're, it's a mixture. Mm -hmm. It's not like... Uh, yeah. Th those are those are coho right there. You see the mm -hmm. hump sticking up out of the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, pinks. I mean, those are pinks. With the big uh, big hump, like this guy over here. Hmm. Well, the males have the hump, right? Yes. Yeah. And they have the, the jutting jaw. All this, that's it, you know, worth it. <laughs> it's just amazing mm -hmm. animals, eh? Yes. These little fellows, these fellows probably hatched here about four years ago and went downstream. Mm -hmm. Look at them, in that little pond there. A dozen of them trapped in there. Why are you still looking after all these years? Because I haven't found an answer to the question yet. I don't want to give up. I'm still convinced that this large primate that is reported to live in the forests of British Columbia and up the British Columbia coast and Pacific and West of the United States does in fact exist. I just cannot explain away all the footprints I've seen. The one time I may have seen the animal itself and all the eyewitnesses that I think are credible that I've interviewed. There's just far too many of them to dismiss offhand. I can't do it. There has to be an answer to this, and then I'm going to keep following it up until I find one without being suckered into the uh, lunatic inmates running the asylum seem to be running most things now. <laughs> Not a big fan of finding Bigfoot, are you? Well, that show has its faults, but that's more of, uh, you know, the producers trying to make television and get an audience than it is anything with the cast. I know each of the cast members, and I know they do things in that show they don't like to do. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's, I mean, if they, if someone did a show on real Sasquatch research, it'd be pretty damn boring. Yeah. People can't only watch, look at beautiful scenery so much a week, you know, you got to have something happen, <laughs> no matter how silly it is. So that's why I believe they do what they do. And uh, 
to their credit, they won't put up with hoaxing. At least they don't do that. I mean, after their first season, they did get rid of a bunch of people in the, in the production crew who were caught red-handed trying to make things happen that were basically hoaxing. They, did, they, didn't, they wouldn't put up with it. But still, overall, the show was silly. Yeah. It's funny. I mean, when they were here in June, one of the producers told me, the worst thing that could happen to them is they find Bigfoot. Because <laughs> then they wouldn't have a show anymore. Yeah. They asked me, where are they, could they go and what should they do to try and see a Saskatchewan? And I said, well, I'll tell you what you don't do. <laughs> and they basically listed off everything they, <laughs> they've been doing. Needs to say, they went with other members of the BFRO out in the bush. They didn't ask me to go along. <laughs> but, you know... All you got to do is come out here with a camera or a firearm and look along the creeks and the rivers in this time of year to try to find evidence of the animal's existence. But be cautious because there are black bears and grizzly bears around here and that's why we're carrying the bear spray. We're not carrying firearms because they're not allowed here in this particular area. But you got to be safe because it is the wilderness and something that having a nice seafood dinner might want a little protein to go with it. So you got to be careful. And you, you've come face to face with a grizzly bear, haven't you? That was a long time ago when I was a lot younger and could climb trees a lot faster, thank God. I think if that same scenario happened today, I'd probably be a dead man. <laughs> so far it hasn't happened again. Yeah. yeah. What a beautiful spot. Isn't it? it is. I could watch these buggers all day long. But there hasn't been too many deaths yet because the place isn't stinking yet. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, eventually they're going to be littering the sides. But it's, it's been going on for a, a good three, mm -hmm. three, four weeks already. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but the co usually, uh, I remember coming here in November in years past, in the end of November, December, and they were still going. Yeah. But there were dead fish all over the place. But they were so groggy, we literally could pick them up. Yeah. When you look at this ground, this is the perfect spot for salmon to spawn. Yeah. Which is what the happy couple is doing over there, I believe. And over there. Yeah. And in the pond. Mm -hmm.